Hello everyone, my name is Tejas and welcome to my channel Self Study with Tejas. And if you are passionate about mathematics and aiming to excel in the IMO exam, then you are in the right place. So today we are going to learn chapter 3 playing with numbers part 1 in which we are going to cover the mathematical reasoning. So let's start. So chapter number 3 playing with numbers mathematical reasoning. First question, if a number P is exactly divisible by Q, then Q is a dash of P and P divided by Q will have dash as the remainder. So they have said that if a number P is exactly divisible by Q, then Q is a dash of P. Which means uh, if a number P is exactly divisible by Q, then Q is a factor of number P and P divided by Q will be 0 as number Q is the factor of P. So correct answer here will be option number C. Now second question, what least value should be given to star so that, so that the number 653 star 47 is divisible by 11. So according to the divisibility rule of 11, the difference of the sum of the digits at odd position and the sum of digits at even position should be 0 or 11. So uh, first we will write here the number which is 6. 5, 3, star, 4, 7. We will first check here. 6, 5, 3, star, 4, 7. So, yes, this is correct. So, now we will group them like this and like this. So, now first we will do 6 plus 3 which is 9 and 9 plus 4 which will be 13. And now here 5 plus star plus 7. So, 5 plus 7 will be 12. So first we will write here only 12 and they have said that uh, uh, the uh, difference should be 0 or 11. So 13 minus 12 is 1 but if we consider the star value as 1 so 12 plus 1 will be 13 and 13 minus 13 is 0 which means it will be divisible by 11. So we can say that star equals 1. So, our correct answer here will be option number D, 1. So, now third question. Which of the following numbers is not divisible by 8? So, uh, for first we will do first one. A, 34,672. So, the divisibility rule of 8 is the last three digits should be divisible by 8. So, here is our page. Now, 672. Uh, are the last three digits now divide by 8 so 8 1 ja is 8 and 8 8 8 ja is 64 so left is 3 and here 2 so 8 4 ja is 32 which means here will be 84 which means it is divisible by 8 now next is 84132 so the last three digits are 132 here so now we will try to divide them here is 132 divided by 8. So here 8 vanja will be 8 which means now here left is 5 and 52 is not divisible by 8 which means the number 84132 is not divisible by 8. So the correct answer here will be option number B. Now fourth question, the smallest number which when divided by 20, 25, 35 and 40 leaves a reminder of 14, 19, 29 and 34 respectively is. So we can see that the difference between 20 and 14 is 6, 25 and 19 is also 6, 35 minus 29 also equals 6 and 40 and 34 difference is also 6 which means now we know that after calculating the LCM we have to subtract 6 to get the accurate answer. So here first we will calculate the LCM. And the numbers are 25, uh, sorry, 20, 25, 35 and 40. So, 20, 25, 35, 40. So, we know that the, uh, all will go, uh, all will go from 5. So, 5, 4 ja will be 20, 5, 5 ja will be 25, 5, 7 ja will be 35 and 5, 8 ja will be 40. So, now we will do by 2. So, uh, 2, 2 ja is 4. 5 and 7 are not in 2 stable and 2, 4, ja, 8. So after that we can again go with 2 and make this one. 
5 and 7 will be again as it is and this will become 2. We will do again 2 and this one 5, 7 and this will also become 1. And we know that uh, 5 and 7 are prime numbers. So we need to write them only. So 1 and now this 5 will become 1, 7 and 1. And now this 7, 1, 1, 1, 1. So now this is over. So now we need to calculate them. So 5 into 2 is 10. 10 into 2 is 20. 20 into 2 is 40. And 40 into 5 is 200. And 200 into 7 equals 14. 1400 and now we have to subtract 6 to get the accurate answer which equals 1394 which means our correct answer here will be option number A. Now fifth question the HCF of two consecutive odd numbers is so we know uh, we all know that the HCF of two consecutive odd numbers is always 1 so the correct answer here will be option number D. So sixth question, the HCF of two numbers is 28 and their LCM is 336. If one number is 112, uh, 12, then the other number is. So we all know that uh, LCM into HCF equals product of two numbers. So we can apply it here. So here is 336 into 28 divided by 112. So if we divide 112 by 336, our answer will be 3. And now we have to divide this 3 by 28. So 28 multiply 28 into 3 which equals 84. So our answer here will be option number B, 84. Now 7th question, which of the following statement is true? A. 1 is the smallest prime number. So this is incorrect statement because 1 is not a composite number nor a prime number. Now B. If two numbers are co-primes then at least one of them must be a prime number. So this is again an incorrect statement because uh, because uh, uh, in co-primes uh, both the numbers should be a prime number. Now see, if a number is prime, it must be odd. So this is incorrect because 2 is a prime number and it is even. Now D, 2 consecutive odd prime numbers are always twin primes. Here, so yes, this is a correct statement. So, 8th question. Observe the following pattern and find the sum of 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 till plus 19. So, here is 1 and 1 into 1 equals 1. So, here is 1 number and 1 into 1. Now, 1 plus 3. So, here are 2 numbers and 2 into 2 equals 4. Now, here 1 plus 3 plus 5 th uh, are 3 numbers and 3 into 3 equals 9. Here, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. So, here are total 4 numbers and 4 into 4 equals 16. Now, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 are total 5 numbers and 5 into 5 equals 25. So, we have to cal cal calculate it till 19. So, we will do it here. Here is 1 plus. Huh. So, here it will be 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, plus 9, plus 11, plus 13, plus 15, plus 17, plus 19. So here are total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here are total 10 numbers and 10 multiplied by 10 equals 100. So our correct answer here will be option number C, 100. Now, ninth question, if M and N are co-primes, then their LCM is. So, if M and N are co-primes, co their LCM will be M into N, which means M N. So, the correct answer here will be option number C. So, tenth question, the two numbers nearest to 10,000, which are exactly divisible by each of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 are dash. So, first we will take the A, A option, first number which is 9660. So, it is divisible by 2 as its last number, uh, as, as its last digit is even. After that, 3. So, 6 plus 6 equals 12 and 12 plus 9 equals 21 which is divisible by 3 which means, and uh, now next, fourth. So, uh, for 4, it is that last two digits should be divisible by 
फोर सो सिक्सटी इज डिविजिबल बाय फोर नाउ फाइव सो दि डिविजिबिलिटी रूल ऑफ फाइव इज द लास्ट नंबर शुड बी जीरो और फाइव सो इट इज जीरो एंड नाउ सिक्स सो ऑफ सिक्स इज इट शुड बी डिविजिबल बाय टू एंड थ्री सो इट इज डिविजिबल बाय टू एंड थ्री एंड नाउ सेवन सो इफ वी कट दिस सिक्स एंड वी विल टेक द डबल ऑफ सिक्स सॉरी वी विल कट द जीरो एंड टेक द डबल ऑफ सिक्स विच इज ट्वेल्व एंड नाइन्टी सिक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व विल बी एट्टी फोर विच इज डिविजिबल बाय सेवन एंड नाउ वी विल टेक टेन थाउजेंड एंड एटी सो इट इज डिविजिबल बाय टू बिकॉज इज लास्ट डिजिट इज इवन After that three, so eight plus one equals nine, which means it is divisible by three. After that four, so eighty is divisible by four, and after that five, so the last digit is zero, which means it will be divisible by five. Now six, so it is divisible by two and three, which means it is divisible by six, and after that seven. So first we will cut the zero. And take the double of eight, which is sixteen. And now we have to do hundred minus sixteen. So here is hundred minus sixteen, which equals eighty four, which is divisible by seven. Which means this both number are divisible by uh, all the numbers. Which means our correct answer here will be option number A. Now eleventh question: The co-prime numbers from the following pairs are so a seven and sixty-three. So the uh, HCF is seven because seven nine just sixty-three. And after that b thirty-six and twenty-five. So these both numbers don't have relation with them at all. So our correct answer here will be option number b. As uh, the HCF of co-prime numbers is always one. Now twelfth question: The HCF of L and LCM of two numbers are thirteen and nineteen eighty nine respectively. If one of the numbers is one hundred seventeen, then find the sum of both the numbers. So we know that HCF into LCM equals the product of two numbers. So here we will write thirteen into Nineteen eighty nine divided by one hundred and seventeen. So thirteen. Ah, uh, sorry. Thirteen nine ja equals one hundred and seventeen. And now we have to do nineteen eighty nine divided by nine. So we will do it here. So here is nine and nineteen eighty nine. So here first we will ah uh, do it by two. So nine two ja equals eighteen. So this is now one, and now again eighteen. So nine two ja, eighteen, zero, and now this nine. So nine one ja equals nine. Sir, so correct answer here will be two twenty one. Sir, so correct answer here is option number B. So thirteenth question. HCF of two number equals. So we ah uh, we all know that HCF into LCM equals product of two numbers. So HCF equals product of two numbers divided by their LCM. So correct answer here will be option number D. Now fourteenth question. Find the LCM of P and Q. P equals LCM of second multiple of nine and sixth multiple of six. So here second multiple of nine is eighteen, and sixth multiple of six is thirty six. So as eighteen is a factor of thirty six, their LCM will be also thirty six. And now we have to calculate the value of Q. So uh, we have to calculate here HCF of sixty and eighty four. So here we will calculate it. Sixty and eighty-four. So here we will write twelve. So twelve five ja sixty. Twelve seven ja eighty-four. So these uh, all are now prime numbers, which means our HCF will be here twelve, which means Q is equal to twelve. Sorry. Ah uh, yes, it is correct. And now we have to find the LCM of thirty-six and twelve. So L C M Of thirty six and twelve. So we all know that twelve is a factor of thirty six, which means their LCM will be also thirty.
36. So our correct answer here will be option number D, 36. Now 15th question. The reciprocal of the smallest prime number is. So the smallest prime number is 2, and without any denominator, uh, uh, without any denominator, we count it as 1, and uh, and its reciprocal will be 1 by 2. So correct answer here will be option number B. Now, sixteenth question: The product of three consecutive numbers is always divisible by a four, b six, c twelve, and d twenty four. So we all know that the product of three consecutive numbers is always divisible by six. So the correct answer here will be option number B. Now, seventeenth question: Find the value of x divided by y. So forty eight x into Eight, so eight six ja is forty eight, which means value of x equals six. And now after that, x uh, so six equals three into y. So three two ja is six, which means y equals two. And now we have to divide x by y, which means six by two, which will be three. So correct answer here will be option number D. So eighteenth question: The least number which when decreased by nine is exactly divisible by twelve, sixteen, twenty-four, and forty-eight is. So we can see that the largest number here is forty-eight, which is divisible by twelve, sixteen, and twenty-four. And now they have said the least number which when decreased by nine. So now we have to add here nine. So forty-eight plus nine, which is fifty-seven. So the correct answer here will be option number C, fifty-seven. Now, nineteenth question: Find the greatest number which will divide the greatest three-digit number and the greatest four-digit number exactly. So, now the greatest three-digit number. No so, so our here greatest four-digit number is nine, 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 uh, which is divided by greatest three-digit number, which is nine, 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 by using the div division method of HCF. So. We will divide. Ah, uh, go with one. So nine, nine, and nine. So this way, ah, uh, this all will become zero, and our remainder will be nine. So now we have to divide triple nine by nine. So here nine, nine, nine. So it will be one, 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 and this nine, nine, nine will go. So now it is a uh, remainder is zero, which means our SCF here will be nine. So correct answer here will be option number A. Now twentieth question: The smallest digit which can replace star to make two zero one star five eight divisible by nine. So the div uh, divisibility rule of nine is that the addition should be divisible by nine. So five plus eight equals thirteen. Thirteen plus one equals fourteen, and fourteen plus two equals sixteen. And uh, nine two ja is eighteen. So if we make the value of star to two, it will become eighteen, which is divisible by nine. So the correct answer here will be option number B. So if you liked our video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.